新年，火锅，火锅，饭馆，因为在北在北京过新年一定很有意思。Hello, hello, hello, my fellow podcast listeners. Whether you're on iTunes or Google Play Music or Anchor or wherever you are listening to this from, I hope everyone had a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend, and I hope that you were all having a really good start to the week. Hey, Raymond,、uh, Azrin, the language nerd here.、Um, I recently saw that you gave my channel a lot of love, or my my station, I guess I should say. So I noticed you plotted some stuff, you liked some stuff,、uh, you shared one of my segments. Um, really appreciate that.、Um, I noticed that you also left a comment as well, but for whatever reason, Anchor is not—it's、um, not actually loading the comment. So my apologies if I don't actually reply to that. I'm just not able to actually see what you wrote. But what's really interesting is that when you look at the whole language learning world, one of the major things that people often place an emphasis or place a focus on is the importance of actually speaking and the importance of conversation. And let's be real. I agree. I think that is incredibly important. Like to be talking and talking and talking with native speakers or people better than you. Of course, that logically, without a shadow of a doubt, is super crucial, right? Now, the one thing that is not talked about quite as much. I'm just gonna turn the light on here. That is not talked about quite as much is how important it is to get input, aka, to listen. And or to be reading. I think it depends on your learning style and depends on your brain on the on the reading side or listening side. But you can hear hear my voice, right? Ah, I'm too numb. For your notes, what I'd highly recommend、okay. that you do is I would hi- I highly recommend that every single lesson you have one page or however many pages that's specifically for just. All your notes for the day,、mm-hmm. but I also highly recommend that you have, whether it's in your notebook, whether it's on a computer, wherever it is, I highly recommend you have、um, something where you are essentially going. Here's a list of all the nouns I've learned. Here's a list of all the adjectives.、Okay. Here's a list of all the verbs. Here's a list of all the etc.、Mm-hmm. And then it's probably better on a computer, actually, if you have、okay. that, because then you can start to sort it. When you have all your nouns, you can start to categorize and go, oh, I've learned these seventy nouns, because you learn a lot in lessons. Oh, let me start to categorize this. Let's put these. Oh, these are all wow. These are all related to my field. My my field of work. Great.、Mm-hmm. Oh, these are all this. You know, random foods. These are all、okay. whatever it is.、Um, yeah. And same thing with adjectives. You like that? So、okay. I'd probably recommend that. So whether you want to do it on your paper, if you have a, when you get home on a computer, I'd probably recommend it, especially、sure. because I'll just write it down. Yeah, especially because we're doing essentially trying to get you to be able to talk、mm-hmm. more comfortably with your clients and for work purposes.、Mm. Probably be, it makes it really easy to study. Otherwise, what happens is you just get all these pages and pages of notes, and you're like, "Oh, where did I study that?" Versus、okay. going, "Oh, I'm trying to look for an adjective." You look in the adjective list, and you can just find it.、Mm-hmm. So, something I'd、okay. re- something I recommend. But in English, if I miss you, I miss if I'm missing you, like you're in a different country, blah blah. I would say I miss you. French is the other way around. You miss me. Yes. So, for example, tu me manques. Tu me manques. Tu me manques. So tu me Monk is. I can't remember when we remember that word, monk. Monk like this. Okay. And that means I miss you. Why is there this? Oh, this was with that word. Yeah,、okay. you got it. I miss you. Because French is logic. I mean, the way I I don't know if this is how it actually is, but my understanding of it is, um, my understanding is that French we French views it as like because you're not here, there's a part of me that's missing.、Mm-hmm. So you are missing from me. That's kind of how I think about it. That、okay. helps you remember it. Not exactly. Protrude means to stick out. So, for、oh. example, if this is the, you know, this is a window, or like I don't know, like you have a. I wish we had like a. Oh, here we go. I'll give you examples. Here's my pencil case, right? I could say, there's a there's a there's a marker protruding out of my pencil case. There's a marker sticking out of my pencil case. Oh. If I stare, if I'm staring stonily, imagine my face is a rock. Emotion. I'm staring stonily. I'm staring with no emotion. If I'm just staring, I could be staring creepily, with a very creepy face, creepy look on my face. But staring stonily is kind of like no expression, looking dead ahead, not moving. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, so probably, I mean, I'm not sure what you had in mind exactly, but probably what what we'd be able to probably structure is something where while you're in Calgary, we could do lessons via via Skype. Or excuse me, Skype, fly in person, and then once you're in West Virginia, if you're still continuing with lessons, we could we can probably move our lessons to via Skype. So essentially, yeah. So for example, let's take,、um, let's take for example, viejo, the very last one. Okay. So if I say Pablo es mi viejo amigo, it essentially means that Pablo is my is like a 
I've had Pablo as a friend for a long time. But if I say... Yes, yeah, so viejo amigo. So viejo before amigo. But if I say Pablo es mi amigo viejo, it means that Pablo's an old person. He's an old. He's old. He's an old dude. <laughs> Pablo's old. <laughs> Getting on in years. And so, um, and so this and there's a bunch. I sent you the whole whole list there, and there's there's more than that. I think that that can't be a full list, but there's a bunch of them. Mm -hmm.